What's up, everybody? Welcome back to Right Man in the Wrong Place. My name is Luke Tatum, and I react to music. Today, I am going to do a track from a game that I just recently finished, and that is Persona 5 Royal. So this is not a first-time reaction. Uh, if anything, this is a 150th time reaction because this song plays a lot during the game. But uh, kind of difficult choosing one song to do from the game. One of the things I'd like to do on this channel, since it's music reactions and it's, you know, also including video game music, is maybe sort of commemorate things that I play that have a good soundtrack by featuring those on the channel. And so uh, Persona 5 originally came out in 2016. It was re-released as Persona 5 Royal in 2022. This song that we're going to listen to, which is called Beneath the Mask, is in both versions. So uh, 2016 is the release date for the song. Let's see. Composer is Soji Meguro, who has done a lot of work on not just Persona, but the other Shin Megami Tensei games. Uh, I, I have only ever played Persona 5, so I don't know anything about the other ones, really. And then, uh, let's see, oh, Beneath the Mask, it was sung by Lin Inazumi. Inaizumi? She has a kind of an, a lilting uh, effect in her voice. It's, it's, it, I like it. I like it. Let's go. It's the most chill thing. Now, whether or not you like the whether or not you like the the vocals when they come in in just a moment or not, kind of doesn't matter. I'm going to pull up the lyrics so we can talk about those a little bit, but it kind of doesn't matter. Because you listen to this a few times, it's you're going to you're going to grow into it. You know, I at first I thought she wasn't even speaking English, but let's just play. <laughs> Okay, so, you know, we're not moving really far away from this kind of groove that's established early on in the song. But what a groove, right? It's um, it's just the one of the chillest things I've ever heard. And what's interesting about this in the game is that you actually initially encounter the song without the vocals. It's only after a certain point in the story, no spoilers, that, that this comes in with the vocals and it sort of becomes like a more it's more of a complete package you right the lyrics just in case you like me could not quite determine that all of these were in english i actually thought oh this must be french like the very first line where have you been sounds like english but then there are lines that i thought i don't know what she's saying it's it's all english <laughs> <laughs> so she says, where have you been? Been searching all along, came facing twilight on and on without a clue, without a sign, without grasping yet the real question to be asked, where have I been? The second part, which is the chorus, I'm a shapeshifter at Poe's masquerade, hiding both face and mind all free for you to draw. I'm a shapeshifter. What else should I be? Please don't take off my mask, revealing dark. So 
Part of this is gameplay elements, okay? Whenever you encounter enemies in this game, enemies are in the mind of the, the public, the minds of other people. You encounter their shadow. Yes, that's the Jungian concept of the shadow. The dark side of people exists in this separate realm, which Persona 5 calls the metaverse. From what I understand, doing a little bit of research, the metaverse idea, the name there, that's unique to Persona 5. That's not something that's been used in the, the series, you know, this whole time. But uh, it is used here. And so you go into the metaverse, you encounter people's shadows, and they all wear masks. And you'll also note from the uh, art here, my mouse cursor won't show up if I mouse over it, but you'll note that in the picture here, the main character, he goes by the name Joker, and he wears a mask. And all these other characters, they have masks. And there's a lot of this just mask kind of symbol being used throughout the game. So this idea of being at a masquerade, you know, hiding both face and mind, it's, in other words, the persona is the mask, behind the mask is the unconscious if you're familiar with Jung's work, then of course you'll start to see kind of what's going on. But the the idea of being a shapeshifter, the main character, Joker, he is able to uh, kind of integrate the masks of other people, which is an ability that's unique to him within the context of the story. So you'll encounter these shadows, these these dark sides of others, and you can actually draw upon the power of not just your own dark side. You don't just internalize and master your own shadow, but also those of others. Very, very interesting concept from a gameplay standpoint. Super cool. Honestly, a very excellent game. And I've played a lot of games. It's a JRPG, but it's also got like life sim elements and stuff. And this is going to play this particular song is this ultra chill going around town, not combat song. So it's kind of cool that it it kind of carries this this idea, you know, it, it's talking about what you're doing in the action oriented parts of the story, even when you are not doing that. And ah, it's just awesome. It's awesome, especially when you got like rain coming in or something in the game. It's just it's a it's an atmospheric tone setting piece like nothing I've ever heard. I'm going to back it up and you'll note too, and and please you know check the lyrics out on this but you'll note that the even the chorus changes slightly as the song goes on the real question to be asked where have i been i'm a chef chateau at post masquerade hiding both face and mind you in this mood you know like it's a wild track perfectly atmospheric Second verse, second time through the chorus. Like I said, there's a few changes. 
The second verse is moments of calm, nothing left to be found, a mirror right in front of me, that's where I find an empty glass reflecting the sad truth. It's telling words not to be told. I need the mask. So again, the same kind of ideas. I mean, that's what the song is. If, if you, if you just want to say, well, it's about the mask that you wear on, on top of your subconscious. Great. Okay. You already know all the lyrics, right? But it's, it's po poetic. That's why we, <laughs> that's why we do this. Beautiful. It's a beautiful lyric, right? It's telling words not to be told. I need the mask. And so, you know, my son is autistic and something that my wife and I have looked a lot more into is kind of like, what are these sort of traits and, and tendencies and things that, that kind of mark autism? My son is wonderful. He does an excellent job of, you know, working on different skills and, and, and progressing. We homeschool and he's awesome, right? The coolest kid I know, but that's a, that's a thing that we're aware of and, and kind of have to take steps to, to navigate. And it's really interesting if you start to study those things, because if you just read all of the different things associated with autism, well, uh, you'll probably identify with a few of them. I know that I did, and I know that my wife did. And so it's like, okay, I mean, it's talked about as a autism spectrum disorder. So, you know, is everybody a little bit on the spectrum? It's just that you have to be on there enough for it to count, right? There's a lot of interesting questions that that brings up. So why do I say all that? Well, it's called masking if you're like a, uh, I'm not going to use the functioning terminology here because I don't really like that. Um, that's a whole separate conversation that won't even go on YouTube. But if you, if you are able to function in society uh, to a large extent and you don't have a lot of like obvious markers for autism where people will instantly label you as that in a social setting, then, but if you have the traits in a fundamental way, but you don't show them all, that's masking. So I'm not talking about Carl Jung right now. I'm just, that's the terminology. I actually don't know where that particular term came in to uh, common parlance, but you know, this, this idea of knowing when it's appropriate to say certain things, having a filter, having your true self and then a, a, a set of behavioral filters, a set of instructions that you're able to put in between the external world and your internal world, your subconscious, or even the collective unconscious, and know what's appropriate to kind of let through that mask, right? This is just a video game <laughs> where you fight enemies and you go through and, 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 um, you know, save the day, right? But it's very, very steeped in some very fascinating ideas. And this is just a background music piece. It's amazing. So, and then the second time through the chorus, you've got, I'm a shapeshifter at Pose Masquerade, hiding both face and mind, all free for you to draw. I'm a shapeshifter chained down to my core. Please don't take off my mask, my place to hide. And... So if you get used to a certain popular perception of you, it's very uncomfortable to A, change that if you need to make that change or you're attempting to make that change, but also B, to have someone see through what you're doing, to remove the mask layer that you've carefully constructed and, and honed and, and see you know, the, the real you, so to speak. All right, this is a long reaction video for this song. It's not a very long song. <laughs> okay. Just this without the lyrics, it's a whole thing. And this goes on repeat so well. I can't tell you how to see me. Just a cage of bones. There's nothing inside. Burning down the walls Is there a way 
before we get through the chorus the last time. Those lyrics, again, it's hard to parse, right? I can't tell you how to see me. Just a cage of bones. There's nothing inside. Will it unleash me? Burning down the walls? Is there a way for me to break? A lot of questions in there. This one, a little bit harder for me to figure out exactly where the lyrics are, are intended to go. The, the way that she enunciates, the way that she's, she vocally performs this piece is just wild though the the just a cage of bones she doesn't say just she says just you know it's part of the reason that that i couldn't understand what she was saying for a while and you know it's fine <laughs> i really actually have it's it's a very endearing once you just listen to it a few times but yeah, again, so so when you remove the mask in the game, when you remove the mask from one of these shadow selves inside the metaverse, uh, they burst forth and become a creature, sometimes a hideous creature that you have to battle before you can uh, potentially absorb that persona into yourself, or you can um, you know move on and, and defeat them and move on with your your journey. So just kind of interesting tie-ins with the gameplay again. And I will hit play. Let's finish this out. Is there a way for me to Nice fade out ending that uh, gives me a little bit of time to pause before it jumps into the next video since this is on a playlist. So that last run through the chorus, the first four lines the same each time, but the last four lines, I am a shapeshifter, have no face to show. Please don't take off my mask, my disguise. Kind of goes into this idea uh, that, you know, what you have constructed, this, this self that you show, is all that you are, right? So there, that's a legitimate fear that I can identify with <laughs> and have had before, right? Like, what am I other than this, this job that I have, this, you know, social interaction that I attend every week or, or every month or, or what have you? It's like, other than the things that I do, what am I, right? That's uh, Aristotle, right? You are what you repeatedly do. I believe that's Aristotle. Um, if it's not, please correct me because I'm probably wrong. <laughs> but, you know, that that idea that that you are the things that you're doing, you are the, the behaviors that you repeatedly engage in, you are things external to your yourself, right? What are you? What is a brain? You can't just take the brain out and go, ah, here it is. Here's the human consciousness, because that's not how that works. We don't really know how that works, but it doesn't work like that. And ah, it's just pretty darn deep for a background music piece where you, in the game, would be taking the subway, you know, the metro. You'd be getting coffee, making coffee. You'd be buying and selling items, going to a DVD rental shop. <laughs> That's the kind of tasks that are playing when you do this. Uh, or the 
kind of task you're doing when the song plays. I said that backwards. Awesome. I just love it. I hope you enjoyed listening to that with me. This was just a fun little interlude. The next game that I have uh, started playing that you might see here on the channel soon is uh, Senwa's Sacrifice, Hellblade, Senwa's Sacrifice. That's supposed to be a relatively short game, so I might have that one done soon. I'm also finishing up Xenoblade Chronicles X from the Wii U, which I've been playing for a long time, and I kind of go f- go away from and come back to every now and again. But we'll uh, post something when I get through one of those games. Appreciate y'all so much. As always, if you have a request for a song, the next six or so videos that I'm going to be doing here will be requests. So uh, look out for those, the link right here. Buy me a coffee. If you have a donation request, I do prioritize donations for what that's worth. Doesn't mean I'm not going to do something random like I just did. So this should be going up after the Proto Men album uh, drops. And, you know, that's just because I wanted to. And I was testing out the logistics of doing a whole album. So I've talked long enough. Thank you all again. I'll see you next time. In the meantime, the right man in the wrong place can make all the difference in the world.